Hello everyone, welcome to my updated Jean guide. Jean is a character near and dear to me not only because she was my first 5 star and carried me through Genshin, but because she's an amazing versatile character. If you need a DPS, she can do that. Need a healer? She can do that. Animal support? She can't do that. Just kidding, she can't! From a gameplay perspective, this is great as this one character fulfills three important roles of a team, but this makes building her a bit confusing, so I'll be talking about just that. I'll speak about how to build her as a main DPS and an animal support alongside Sunfire Jean. I will speak a bit on the healer build and why I advise against it. I will also mention her kit and speak of why she's so strong as well as her weapons, artifacts, constellations, teams, and tips. And in 3.1 fashion, I will also mention how to pair her alongside Dendro. So let's begin. Beginning with her normal attacks, Jean's normals are a sequence of 5 high scaling attacks. These attacks deal high damage while having a unique feature. Each of Jean's normal attacks have a 50% chance to heal the entire party, thanks to her talent, Wind Companion. This healing scales off of Jean's attack which is very convenient. For most characters, you have to sacrifice their damage to increase their support capabilities, but with Jean's scaling, she can deal high damage while still providing great healing. Alongside her normals, Jean has a very strong charge attack. Jean's charge attack has a massive 320% scaling at crown level, while only requiring 20 stamina. So if you're playing DPS Jean, you should use her charge attacks very often. To maximize her damage, I'd recommend a charge attack every 1-3 to three normal attacks. When her charge attack is performed, enemies will be lifted in the air. This can be a good or bad thing in certain situations. If you're fighting multiple enemies and they're constantly hitting you and interrupting your attacks, sending enemies in the air is useful for having some breathing room in a fight and reducing the interruption of your attacks. This can also be a good feature when fighting big to medium enemies as some enemies can be staggered or essentially frozen through Jean's charge attacks as they'll be constantly in a state of being raised in the air and getting up, so you can land hits uninterrupted. This doesn't always happen however, sometimes big enemies will react like small enemies which is the negative aspect of Jean's charge attack. Jean's attack will cause enemies to float too high in the air to actually hit. After a few seconds enemies will float down so you can attack them when they're getting up and get a few free hits then, but you will have to wait for the enemies to float down, which will likely interrupt your rotation and cause you to lose damage. But Jean's skill can solve this problem, which speaking of, let's talk about her skill. Jean's skill is an animal attack that will launch enemies backwards. This skill is another high scaling talent of hers having a scaling of 526% at crown level. The skill has two modes, a tap and a hold. A tap will quickly push enemies away, dealing initial animal damage and then fall damage. When held, Jean can group multiple enemies together and deal the animal and fall damage at once. The holding of her skill lasts for 5 seconds and consumes 20 stamina per second. The skill does however have a big downside of pushing enemies far away from you to where you need to run after them. A way to solve this and group enemies closely together is instead of tapping her skill, aim her skill down. This will cause enemies to be pushed backwards a bit but still remain very close to you. This technique can also solve the problem of her charge attack making enemies too high in the air. After holding Jean's skill to the ground, aim to the sky and let go of her skill. This will deal too two instances of fall damage, the last hit dealing a lot of damage. This technique is best performed when your aim shot mode sensitivities is increased, so when playing Jean it's best to max them both. Now on to Jean's burst, Jean will summon a dandelion field that will deal initial damage to enemies and push them back. Enemies will take further damage when entering and exiting the field. This field has many benefits, firstly it has amazing healing. The initial cast of the burst will regenerate most characters entire HP or majority of HP for high health characters. Characters will also receive healing every second when in the field so you can completely regenerate a character's health if the initial burst doesn't. Coupling this with their normal attack heals allows Jean to make herself and her team basically unkillable. This is the reason why I advise to not build Jean as a dedicated healer or heal bot. Regardless of how you build Jean, she will heal very well. Given this, there's not much reason to further invest into Jean's healing when it's already so good. It'd be better to invest in her own damage or in the damage of others and making her a sort of backup Bennett. Beyond healing, the entire dandelion field will be constantly swirling ammo. So when a swirlable element is introduced to the burst, the field will constantly be swirling this element, in this case Pyro, which allows for really strong teams like Sunfire Jean. The burst also costs 80 energy, but with her passive talent, Let the Wind Lead, she gains 20% of that energy back, making her burst cost 64 energy. With this in mind, the talents you'll want to prioritize will depend on how you build your Jean. If you're building Jean as a physical or hybrid DPS, first prioritize her normal attacks and then her skill and burst. For an Animo DPS Jean, level her skill and her burst equally and then level her normal attacks. For support Jean, you should level her skill and her burst equally while ignoring her normal attacks. 
If you're building Sunfire Jean specifically, you don't actually have to level up her talents. All of her damage will come from the swirls of her burst, and swirls don't scale off of talent levels, but elemental mastery and character level. So you can entirely ignore her talents if you want, however you should level Jean to 90. If you still want to have extra damage on her abilities, prioritize her talents in the order of the support build. Now let's talk about the best weapons to use on Jean. If you're early in the game and building Jean as a DPS, you can use the Cool Steel, the Fillet Blade, or the Harbinger of Dawn. Starting out these weapons are really good as they give Jean her most important stats, being attack percentage and crit. The Harbinger's passive is a bit difficult to maintain, but as long as you run a shield with Jean and use her normal attacks and burst, Jean will heal herself so you will be able to maintain her health above 90% quite often. For early animal support weapons, Jean can use the Cool Steel for its attack percentage, the Dark Iron Sword which is a great weapon as it gives her EM while also increasing her attack through its passive. Lastly, you can use a Skyrider Sword if your Jean is struggling with getting her burst up and needs more energy recharge. For late game players, I've tested weapons relevant to Jean and I've ordered the weapons on damage and practicality, which is basically how good are the benefits of the sword and how easy is it is to keep its passive. So then, for 5 star weapons, the overall best weapon for Jean is the Primordial Jade Cutter. This weapon provides very high crit rate which allows for Jean to stack huge amounts of crit damage and have a very good crit ratio. The sword also increases attack through its passive which is based on the wielder's HP, which works great on Jean since she has a very high base HP. This sword gives Jean everything she wants, so it's a very good weapon if you're building Jean as a DPS. The Summon Shaper is also a really good weapon for Jean because of the weapon's high attack through its substat and passive. To utilize the weapon's max potential, Jean needs to be shielded, which may be a bit redundant with her healing, but being a main DPS, Jean will still benefit from shields, so overall this weapon is great for all DPS builds. The Aquila Favonia is an excellent option for physical DPS Jean. The Aquila Favonia grants very high attack and has a huge physical damage substat stat, making it the best weapon for physical DPS Jean. The subset is also great for a hybrid build, despite the subset this sword is still quite good for an animo DPS Jean because of the weapon's high attack. Next up is the Haran, I like the Jade Cutter, this sword gives crit rate yet it has a higher base attack and increases elemental damage and normal attack damage. This makes the Haran great for all 3 DPS builds, but for physical Jean it does fall short since it doesn't buff Jean's charge attack which is very important for her. Then the Mist Splitter Reforged, this weapon is very good for an animal DPS build as on top of the high attack and crit damage the sword gives, it also provides high elemental damage bonus, as long as the wielder has the max stacks. For an animal or hybrid build, this is very good, while for a physical gene it's still a strong option but not the best. Last is the Skyward Blade. This weapon is a pretty good weapon for Jean as long as her burst is used often so the weapon's passive occurs and she gains buffs to her attack speed and normal and charge attacks. Now for 4 stars, the sword that dealt the most damage was the Cursed Blade. This weapon grants a huge amount of attack, and its passive further increases attack while being very easy to trigger. So this weapon is an excellent weapon for all 3 DPS builds. A weapon close in damage to this is the craftable Amenoma. This weapon grants a lot of attack, but its passive grants energy to the wielder. This weapon can be used for all DPS builds, but is especially great for an animo DPS gene since you'll be able to use your burst more often, especially with refinements. Next up is the Black Sword. This sword is great for DPS gene with its crit rate and buff to normal and charge attacks. The sword will also increase the frequency at which Jean's normal attacks will heal the party, making this weapon great for all 3 DPS builds but especially great for a hybrid and physical build. The craftable prototype Rancor is a strong option for physical Jean. The sword has a physical damage substat while increasing attack when landing hits on enemies. With refinements, this weapon can outdamage the Amenoma. After this is the Lion's Roar. This weapon is great with its high attack and passive as long as Jean can damage an enemy affected by Pyro or Electro. So if Jean can be the driver or initiator of reactions like Taser, Superconduct, or Vaporize, this sword can be really good and can outdamage the Cursed Blade. Last is the Black Cliff Longsword. This weapon is great for its crit damage substat, but it is very reliant on its attack passive. With max stacks, this weapon can outdamage the Cursed Blade, but without the passive, this weapon's damage drops to the least damaging sword. So as long as you can keep its passive up, it's another great option for all of Jean's DPS builds. For support Jean weapons, firstly, if you want to increase her skill or burst damage, you can use any of the 5 star weapons I last mentioned. For 4 star swords, you can use the Amenoma or instead the Lion's Roar.
If you cannot use the Amanoma and need energy recharge, you can use the Favone Sword for extra energy particles for Jean and the rest of the party. You can also use the Skyward Blade, the Festering Desire, or the Sapwood Blade. For Elemental Mastery weapons, first I only recommend to use these weapons for Sunfire Jean, since Jean as an animal support doesn't swirl very much outside of Sunfire. So for a Sunfire Jean, the weapon that will deal the most damage is the Freedom Sworn due to the high Elemental Mastery it has. The weapon also grants buffs to your team, so it's a good weapon beyond its EM stat. A very close second to the sworn is the craftable iron sting. This weapon has an EM substat that is slightly less than the sworn, so it's still a very good weapon for Sunfire. A less accessible but really good sword for Sunfire Jean is the Siphos Moonlight. This weapon gives the wielder of the sword energy recharge based on the elemental mastery they have. The other party members will receive this energy recharge gain as well, but 30% of what the wielder received. This weapon is really good as it essentially acts as a Favoni sword, giving energy to the entire team, however it's EM based which makes it amazing for Sunfire Gene. Now let's cover Jean's artifacts. For an early game DPS Jean, for Sojourner, for Martial Artist, for Braveheart are all great options for her, as well as any two-piece combination of Sojourner, Berserker, Braveheart, Martial Artist, and Gambler. For support Jean, if Jean lacks energy recharge, two Exile and two Scholar will grant 40% energy recharge, which will solve a lot of Jean's energy problems. If you have enough ER, you should then focus on increasing her damage, so any two-piece combination of Sojourner, Braveheart, Berserker, and Gambler would be the best in this scenario. For Sunfire Jean specifically, 4 Instructor is perfect for her as it increases her elemental mastery, while also increasing the party's elemental mastery, which will increase the team's overall damage. Let's now talk about late game artifacts for Jean. As a physical DPS, 4 Pale Flame will net the most damage. This is because this set will grant 50% physical damage bonus while also giving 18% attack. The only caveat to this set is that to gain the max stacks, you'll need to use your skill off cooldown. Doing so will push enemies far away from you which will likely lead to a damage loss. To negate this, you can perform the technique I mentioned in the kit section. A close second to the set is 2 Bloodstained and 2 Pale Flame. This set deals slightly less damage while having the benefit of not being forced into using her skill off cooldown. An alternative to this is 2 Bloodstained or Pale Flame with a 2 piece giving plus 18% attack. This set will deal less damage than the 2 so I'd only recommend to use this set if you are currently farming the sets I mentioned or if you have very good substats on this combination and not on the others. If you're building hybrid gene, you can use the sets I mentioned for physical gene while using an animal goblet or attack goblet. Or instead you can use 2 Virdes and 2 Bloodstained, or 2 Viridestin and 2 Gladiator. These two sets are very similar in damage, so it's best to use whichever set you have the best substats on. If your gene is an animal support, the best set is 4 piece Viridescent Venerer. This set is amazing as it reduces enemies resistance to elements you swirl by 40%. This reduction is massive and will cause the characters of the same element you swirled to deal much greater damage for 10 seconds. This set actually enables her to act as Bennett, as with this set she will buff the party's damage while healing the team at the same time. This set will also make Jean very relevant in Dendro related teams, especially in Burgeon and Hyperbloom. Exploding Dendro cores deal a lot of damage to characters, with Jean in this situation she will heal characters so well to where the Dendro core damage is non-existent all while greatly buffing the Hydro, Electro, or Pyro damage of the team. As great as this set is, it limits Jean's damage so if you want her personal damage to increase, you can give her 2 Viridescent into Gladiator or 2 Viridescent into Noblesse. For main stats, if you're building Jean as a physical DPS, run an attack attack percentage stands on her, a physical goblet in either crit rate or crit damage for her circlet. For a hybrid build, run an attack percentage stands and for the goblet, use an animal goblet if your artifact bonuses buff your physical damage. If your artifacts instead increase Sheen's animal damage, use a physical damage goblet. You could also use an attack percentage goblet, but attack percentage as a goblet usually leads to an overall loss in damage, so unless you have a really good attack percentage goblet, it's best to use a physical or animal goblet. For the circlet, use either crits. For support Jean, use an attack percentage sense on Jean to increase her personal damage. If Jean struggles to get her burst, use an energy recharge sense instead. Her goblet can either be animal damage bonus for increased skill and burst damage, or attack percentage if you want Jean to provide better healing to her teammates. For the circlet, use a crit rate or crit damage circlet. Lastly, for Sunfire Jean's artifacts, have EM on her sands, goblet, and circlet. Regarding her substats as a DPS, aim to have both crits and attack percentage. If your gene is an animal DPS, aim for energy recharge as well, and aim to have around 130 energy recharge. If you're building physical gene or even hybrid gene, you don't really have to worry about energy recharge. For support gene, aim to have attack percentage and energy recharge, aim to have around 170 energy recharge. Specifically for sunfire gene, aim for elemental mastery and energy recharge, and aim to have the same amount of ER as the support build.
let's now cover Jean's constellations. Jean actually has some really good constellations that either increase her damage or the entire party's damage. Of her constellations, you'll want to aim for her C1. This constellation increases the pulling speed of her skill and increases its damage by 40% when it's held for more than one second. This constellation is really good as regardless of how you play her, you'll be using her skill whether as a main DPS performing the double fall damage technique or as a support grouping enemies together. This constellation makes doing these techniques easier and deal more damage. Then her C2 where if Jean picks up an energy particle, the entire party has their movement speed and attack speed increased by 15%. Lastly, aim for her C4 which causes enemies within Jean's dandelion field to have their animal resistance reduced by 40%. This constellation is amazing as it essentially turns Jean's burst into a viridescent shred of animal, massively increasing the damage of Jean and other animal characters like Xiao for instance. For those wondering, Jean's burst actually utilizes the 40% animal shred as her dandelion field is actually created before her burst deals damage. This constellation also enables mono animal which I'm sure sounds very dumb but with this constellation I bet is viable. I'm sure most of you hope to never see these constellations or some of you are scarred by them so let's just quickly move to team comps. Thanks to Jean's versatility, she can be played in many teams. Teams needing a main DPS or animal support or healer can all greatly benefit from Jean. Of these teams, the ones that stand out the most to me is first a superconduct Jean team. Here Jean will be a physical main DPS. In this team, Beto and Fisher will deal high damage while applying Electra for Rosario to trigger superconduct. Rosario will also increase the team's crit rate and further reduce enemies' physical resistance. With all this, Jean will deal huge physical damage while also healing the team and keeping them alive. The next team is a freeze team where Jean will once again be a main DPS. In this team, Yolan and Rosario will freeze enemies while increasing the damage of Jean. This occurs through Yolan's damage increasing passive and with Rosario's added crit rate and reduced physical resistance. Kazuo will group enemies all together and increase the cryo and hydro damage of the party. This team is great as with freeze, Jean's charge attacks won't raise enemies in the air so you can spam them and deal a ton of damage without worrying. Now I'll talk about teams for support Jean. Firstly, Sunfire Jean. Through her burst, Jean will constantly swirl Bennett's burst, making it very easy to vaporize or melt. Moreover, with 4 Venerer, either Ayato's or the swirling of Bennett's burst will deal a ton of damage. With Jean C3, Ayato will be able to normal attack faster. All in all, Sunfire Jean is very strong, so I highly recommend to try this team. The last team is Hyper Bloom Raiden. Oddly enough, I haven't seen Jean used with Dendro yet as I mentioned in the artifact section, she's great in Hyper Bloom or Burgeon teams. For Hyper Bloom, she'll apply the 4 Viridescent Shred to Hydro and Electro, while regenerating the health loss from the Dendro cores. Normally in Hyper Bloom teams, there are two character slots dedicated for an animal support, and a healer or shielder to protect characters from the Dendro cores. Yet Jean does both of these things on her own. And that is everything. I hope you enjoyed and gained from my guide on Jean. Overall, Jean is a really great character. She's often overlooked when compared to other animal units, but she brings so much to the table that other animal characters don't, which make her stand out for them and actually perform better than them in certain situations. She has crazy versatility that make her applicable to so many teams, and in these teams she'll more often than not perform really well. She's all in all just an amazing character to have. And with that, I'm gonna end the video. A big thanks to all those that requested for me to do a guide on Jean. Thank you for letting me know who to cover next and for your patience. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Take care everyone, and of course, thank you once again.